A 17-year-old boy kicked in the face by a sheriff's deputy during an arrest. And tonight, the mother of that teen is speaking out exclusively to 13 Action News. Action News reporter Alexis Means live with what the mother had to say. Alexis. Lee, that mother says that her son was wrong, but she is outraged by the actions of the sheriff deputy. This is the video that has a teenage boy's mother so upset. Bust his braces, his wires. He's in jail right now with wires sticking out of his teeth. Dawn Wilder says her 17-year-old son was under arrest outside of Franklin Park Mall. Police say the teen threatened a woman and her son with a gun. Off-duty sheriff deputies working at the movie theater were notified. They spotted the teen and there was a chase. He said that they told him they know he had the gun, drop him. He said at that point he dropped him, but he was still trying to get away. Um, at that point he was held and threatened with a taser that they did get him with. And once he hit him with the taser, it's pretty much over. She told me she doesn't approve of her son carrying a gun or Deputy Sheriff David Terry using excessive force, kicking her son in the face. I do believe that Anthony did what he did. I believe that Anthony is going to admit he did what he did. I feel like Anthony needs to pay for what he did and all of that. But the issue and the fact is how they treated my son and he was totally cooperative. Internal Affairs is investigating. The teen is no stranger to the court system. And what may or may not have happened at any point after he committed the crime will be for another court for another day. We are only concerned at this point that this is a 17-year-old youth with a gun. The teen's mother says her son will do his time, but she also says Deputy Terry should be punished too. Anthony's accountable for him. He's there. You got him. He did it. There's no doubt. I'm talking about him. What's going to happen to this officer? And the teen is facing multiple charges. He will remain locked up at the Lucas County Juvenile Detention Center. As for the deputy, he has been temporarily reassigned pending the outcome of the internal investigation. Diane, back to you.